Dillian, two courses for a semi-final place. Yep. What are you going to cook for us? A beef glaze with marmite, yeast extract, some vegetables, and a shallots red wine sauce. And I'm doing a souffle, which I never made before. What sort of souffle are you making? Raspberry and passion fruit souffle. You are one very, very courageous man, aren't you, Dillian? Go big or go home. My biggest problem, or, or do I match what I made last time? Yeah. That's what stressed me out. Yeah. Dillian's ambition is encouraging. However, the amount of work he's given himself, it's frightening me right now. He's got a filled of beef. He's cooking potatoes with goose fat. He's got a red wine sauce, proper red wine sauce with a buttery potato fondant. These things need a lot of love and care, almost precise care. He couldn't have picked a more complicated, dangerous dessert if he tried. Passion fruit and raspberry souffle. If he doesn't get the mix right, if he doesn't get the temperature right, then he has got an eggy mush in a ramekin. You've about 13 minutes left. 13? Yep. Lucky 13. All right, let's do this. Yeast extract beef with vegetables. Let's carve this beef and let's go. So it's obviously covered in a yeast extract. I can't Talk think of anything worse. Can't you? <laughs> no! Happy with the way it's cooked? Yep. Oh, that's a hunk of beef. Red wine and beef sauce will hopefully save this dish for me. OK, good. Out you go and then come back for your souffle. Well done, well done. I made um, beef with yeast extracts, fondo potato, and some sauté vegetables, and caper sauce, and red wine. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Holy moly. I'd have liked more beef. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the meat is absolutely delicious. It's got a lovely saltiness around the edge. I love the rareness, really, of it. The potatoes are delicious. Someone who can make a great fondant potato is all right in my book. But it's let down by the sauce because it's just sort of this salty water. That yeast extract across the beef is delicious. The red wine sauce is really lovely and almost sticky. Unfortunately, that's been diluted by the juice from the vegetables and from the blood from the beef. Making a souffle. Why put yourself through the pressure of it? Dylan, you've got about three minutes to get them in the oven, mate. All right. You're working with someone else's oven. Ovens are all different. Are you happy you're going to go? Yep. Let's do it. It'll be looking there, won't be rising. Will it be rising? It'll open it, that'd be the wrong moment to open it. It'll release the pressure, it'll all go wrong. <sighs> Don't open the door. So if he comes in with three standing souffles, I might just give him a high five. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. Yeah, they're rising. They are rising. They're looking good, Dillian, they're looking good. Yes. Well done. Did it work? We'll find out. Hey. <laughs> I tried my best. Well done. Looks great. Oh, yum. What you have is a raspberry and passion fruit souffle, which I've never ever made before. That's well amazing. Well First That's time. amazing. See, hopefully it pays off. Thank, Thank you. you. It's brilliant. It's lovely and so light. And that passion fruit is so fragrant and delicious. I think mine's a little bit undercooked in the middle, but I like that bit. Um, I'm calling that the custody bit. I feel so proud of him for taking on the challenge of a souffle and smashing it. And then you add the raspberry. It's just so lovely. The souffle is very, very light. It's a nice crispy top. It could do with another four or five minutes in the oven so the centre is cooked all the way through. But what he attempted, I think, was really brave. I mean, that fella doesn't do things by halves. I'm good. I went out and I pushed the boat all the way up. I pushed it all the way up. So let's see. If it sinks, it sinks. <laughs>